Jim Rice ignored the advice of a short-sighted teacher and held to his dreams, which in 1985 brought him to Huntsville as a space camp counselor. It also brought him closer to the epicenter of the manned spaceflight program, and Jim spent his off days at Marshall with a group of engineers that had befriended him. In fact, they helped him land an internship in which he helped select a landing site for a project that would send one of the first robots to Mars, and that would be the beginning. He continued his education at Arizona State University, yet this time he would land more than another degree. A new project was coming down the pike and Arizona State would take the lead. Two identical robots would be built and sent to explore the surface of Mars. And because few people on Earth knew more about Mars than Jim, he got the job. And the robots, well, they went to Mars. Maybe you've heard of them, Spirit and Opportunity. They've been touring the Martian surface for three years, wildly surpassing anyone's expectations. And Jim, among his many responsibilities, is to help identify what the rovers are looking at. Now he's gearing up for a new project, a new robot bigger, more powerful, more advanced than anything ever launched from Earth. It'll go to Mars in search of biosignatures, or confirmation of previous life forms on and just below the surface of the red planet. Looking for life on Mars. Not bad for a southern boy whose teacher once told him he set his goals too high. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us as we welcome to the Space Camp Hall of Fame our former counselor, Dr. James Rice.